Hi, and welcome to howtorunahomedaycare.com. Today I'm going to show you my downstairs playroom and give you some tips on how to set up some different play centers. So come on in. This is in the basement of my house, and I also use this space um, at nap time for some of my younger children. So you'll notice that I do have some pack and play set up. And I use this room for the pack, this side of the room for the pack and plays, and then we'll move into the other side of the room where the toys are. So you can use your playroom if you're short on space for napping, and pack and plays are great because I can just move them into the middle. Sometimes I move one around the corner so they can't see each other while they're resting. So I have a lot of um, gross motor activities and toys that we do down here. For instance, the rebounder. This is great for when it's raining, the kids come down, we can jump, jump, jump. And I also have a slide and some other things like uh, hula hoops and balls that I'll bring out on an individual basis. But I have some normally outside toys, but I bring them in. And I find this fantastic on rainy days or in the winter time when we can't go out because it's very cold. You'll also notice that we have our basketballs net set up down here um, because it is winter time uh, here in Canada for us right now. So we'll go around the room and I'll show you each of the centers to give you some ideas that you might want to set up in your playroom. So here's the woodworking center. We have all of the toys together in one spot. So when the kids are working, they know that all of the things that they need are right here. And I add, um, we have some dress up clothes as well so they can really get into their imaginative play. Here's our store, our cash register. Again, the kids have all the things they need, um, the money and some items, some receipts to buy, to, to give back to their customers. This playhouse was originally outside, but again, because we found, um, you know, in, when, in our, for our seasons here in Canada, we brought it in for the winter one year and we just kept it inside because the kids love playing with it so much in here. So we have a whole doll center and a kitchen set up in there. I picked this up at a garage sale, I thought it went well with the house. They like to mail letters to each other. If you want to come over on this side, I'll show you the toy shelf that I ended up buying for this space. It each, you can see that it's sectioned into different cubbies, and so each cubby has one toy or one large bin. And I love this, this cabinet. I got it at Ikea because you can display the toys and the children can come and see what's available for them to play with, but you can also hide toys as well in these pull-out bins. These all just come. I bought, those were from Ikea, but I bought these separately from, um, a different uh, home decor place and because it could be considered um, a ladder for some children they could just come all the way up uh, we did secure this whole unit right to the wall just in case and uh, the other I think I've shown you this before but I'll, I'll mention it again this is a great storage unit again because you can separate the toys into each individual bins. And so when the kids tidy up, they can put all the, their spool toys for threading back in one section. And it makes it really easy and uh, it really encourages the children to participate in the tidy up. And the other piece of equipment I wanted to show you that I really enjoy in this downstairs playroom is the train table. We received this as a gift and we love it because of course it, there's the tape, there's a drawer where it will keep all of your tracks and your cars. But when we're not playing trains on the train table, I also use it as a tabletop activity. So right now I have the puzzles set up on the tabletop and I'll switch this up and the children love to come down and see what the new toy is on the train table. And it's great for little pieces because they don't get lost, they all stay together on the top of the table and then at tidy up time, everything's right here to put back. The last part of the playroom um, is this center where we read books and the children can have some quiet time um, if they want to do some pretend play. So I hope my downstairs playroom gave you some ideas for your playroom. Thanks for visiting howtorunahomedaycare.com.